oh my it's quite a long time since i've uploaded videos on youtube so this is how people feel when they don't upload videos right oh <laughs> but anyway i hope you are doing fine wherever you are and i have some very good information finally youtube has managed to update its monetization policy right now as you speak you can apply for monetization at 500 subscribers and 300 watch time hours yes and of course if i find any other new information i'll share with you here and uh, i also want to say something i also want to touch something about youtube strikes since i have noticed that some of these negative strike uh, some of these negative reactors are putting strikes on our videos it is quite unfortunate people are serving food this these people are serving food that they uh, that they don't want to be served and this reminds me of another wicked manager in a company that I had applied a job. Imagine someone looking for you so hard, looking for your number so, so hard so that they can personally reject you. They go even to an extent of inviting you to an, into their office so that they can, hold, so that they can hold, hand over you a rejection letter and tell it to your face that you are not the best candidate. That's the height of wickedness that some people can have. And I'm not surprised with these other ones, no? And I'm also getting information that one of them was, you know, is, is suffering from post-traumatic disorder. Yes, it, it, it does happen. Sometimes uh, this, uh, this disorder can negatively affect some people when they have experienced trauma in their own lives. So they, 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 don't, have, they don't have remorse in whatever they are doing. Hmm? And you know, when you get a YouTube strike, uh, YouTube will take down your video. When you get a second strike, YouTube will take down your videos. Now, when you get a third strike, uh, YouTube will block, it will completely block your channel together with other associated channel. And even in future, you cannot be able to create another channel, even under new email address. That means this person has completely destroyed your whole YouTube career. And you know, I hope you have learned something from this. Yes, I, I do make reaction videos, if, if that's how you want to put it. But I always, as I said, I want to also teach something, right? I also want to create an awareness in some way. Hmm? And uh, in future, guys, I promise, as soon as I'm monetized, as soon as I'm monetized, uh, I, I'm going to diversify, I'm going to diversify my my this reaction videos that i'm making i'm going to, to 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 put it in the next level next level reaction videos there's nothing like moving away from reaction videos i don't believe in that i don't believe in moving away from reaction videos what you can do you can try to improve right and 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 move away from the same place so what i want to do is i want to move away from this dark corner of mine and you will see you will see you will see it is, it is something that you have never seen. Anyway, um, Marwa is a gullible character. Let me go straight to the point. Marwa is a gullible character, meaning that he can easily be compromised. He can easily be brainwashed. I think I'm getting all these synonyms right. Mm? That's why he takes long to process when he's being attacked. Okay? It takes quite a long time for Marwa to process when he's being attacked. So by the time he's fully attacked or he's cornered, anything that he tries to, 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 to put on as defense, it backfires because he didn't put off the fire <laughs> before it blew up. Okay? So that's why uh, Ivan conditioned him to call Priya. And he went away and he went ahead and called Priya. He didn't see that as an attack. Hmm? Now, um, as the construction was going on, Mama Anne's construction was going on. Fellow, fellow uh, was in constant communication with somebody called Coco Grandi. So by the time, meaning by the time that they were falling out, Fellow had already resulted in starting a YouTube channel on charity niche meaning that this was a predetermined plan to finish him off 
not to finish his channel let me not say that not to finish his channel do you know what they were fighting they were fighting his credibility there is nothing worse than losing your credibility as a youtuber when you fight at someone's credibility you have destroyed him that's how he ended up losing half of his donors the aim was to fight his credibility and that's why they were engaging fake receipts that's why they were pushing fellow the boy to produce receipts hmm? because they, they 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 want to buy trust from marwa's donors and marwa in return he will lose those donors which you know it happened and by the way, before I go any further with my conversation, I want to say thank you so much to all those people who donate. If you have ever donated anything in Yabo Hansi, raise your hand. May God bless you. I know this is voluntarily. It's something that you have done voluntarily as an individual. And may God bless you because uh, for supporting young people in Kenya, may God bless you for uplifting uh, living standards of people that you have probably some of them you have never met i i don't take that for granted you're one of the wonderful people that we have in this world and may god grant you more years and it doesn't matter from which side you are donating from hmm? it's just that there are some people who want to kidnap this good cause there are some people who want to kidnap this good cause and we leave them to god Mm, we leave them to we, we we leave them to God. Let God do His will. Mm, okay. Uh, oh my, I'm I'm stuck. I don't know what I wanted to say. Uh, honestly, making videos is also very hard because you can be in the middle of making a video and you know what you wanted to say, you you, you forget. Right now, I don't know what I wanted to say. And uh, uh, Coco Girl is in. I, I heard she's in in Ghana. And some people, you know, are, are making statements that, you know, hey, Coco Girl said something about Kenyan men. He said that, that Kenyan men are not, uh, they're not romantic. They, 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 they don't have good vibes. Well, uh, <laughs> yes, I've seen that video. <laughs> you know, Coco Girl, I've, uh, I, I don't take her seriously, honestly. I don't take her seriously anyway. Uh, she she can do anything for views. Coco girl can do anything for views, and you know, <laughs> she can go ahead. But uh, be careful, be careful, Coco girl. Mm -hmm. Be careful in these streets, in YouTube streets. Mm -hmm. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, even if you have a compromising opinion about Kenyan men. <laughs> <laughs> I even saw Crook getting very happy and getting excited. <laughs> anyway, let me not go any further. Eh? So, thank you so much, guys, for watching and continue subscribing, guys. Get me to 500 subscribers. I want to be monetized. And yes, I mentioned I wanted to go to Nyabohanze someday, of course, for the adventure part of it. And I also want to see these YouTube celebrities finally face to face. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how this Nyabohanze looks like. <laughs> I want to maybe I could meet even Minahawi. You never <laughs> Ah, this is getting so funny. Yeah, I want to some of us want to experience the adventure part of Nyabohanze. Eh? Yeah, we want to eat some meat, we want to eat some ugali in Nyabohanze. We have never been here and it's in Kenya, imagine. Yabuhansi is in Kenya. Eh? You have to see this this wonderland. <laughs>